Hi everyone, in this video we will discuss about how to deploy a traffic manager. In our previous video we discussed about the overview of traffic manager. We also discussed about different routing methods and in this video we are going to see the practical part of it where we will learn exactly how to implement overall concepts. If you want to go through the complete course, you can purchase these courses from my website that is techlearning.spy.com. All the information is given in the description. If you want to check out the course content, just click on course and click on preview. So left hand side, you can see all of the course contents. Other than individual courses, course packages are also available where you can find out the decent discount on these courses. Let's get back to our topic. So total six type of routing method we have. What we discussed, one is my priority. Second is my performance. Third is the geography, geographic. And the fourth is the weighted. Fifth one is the multi-value. And sixth one is the subnet here. Okay, so this is how this uh, traffic manager works. So I hope you understood the concept. Let's see that how we can deploy this whole environment in our Azure infrastructure, then you will have a better understanding of it. So one by one, I'm going to deploy all of these pieces. So if you see these pieces here, let me remove everything. Okay, so we need to uh, deploy a traffic manager. We need to deploy two virtual machine. Inside that, we will deploy our uh, web application. Then finally, we have to create a DNS also. And then we will see that how to integrate all these pieces. So I will start from the traffic manager first of all. So come to your portal and type your traffic manager. The service name is traffic manager profile. Click on it. Create traffic manager profile. And uh, let's say this name is LHTM. This name should be unique. Okay, so it has accepted. Now it is asking me about the routing method. When you click on it, there are six type of routing methods here. So we have understood what is the logic behind each uh, routing method. So for this practical, I'm going to select priority here as a routing method. Subscription is free trial resource group. Let's create one resource group that is my RG. Okay, and the resource group location is central US create this one. So my traffic manager is created. Traffic manager is done. Rest of the things we'll see after uh, creation of this traffic manager. Meanwhile, what I'll do, I'll create two virtual machine VM1 and VM2 and inside that I'm going to deploy a website. So let me deploy my DNS also. DNS zone create DNS So also register the name server, go to GoDaddy. Click on changes and this is your zone learninghubtech.com and copy this name service, paste it here, remove the dot, copy second name server, paste it, remove the dot and then you remove the other name service I had added for some other practical then go ahead and click on save. So refresh this one. So NS105, NS205, NS105, NS205. Okay, so this is also done. 
my dns is ready this dns is uh, we have created this zone we have created our traffic manager also we have created our both of the virtual machine i have deployed website here also i have created a one simple web page here as well right so vms are ready now traffic manager is also created if you go back to your portal and just type for traffic manager profile so this is one and you can see our traffic manager has been created lstm1 open this one so now what i want to do i want to add vm1 and vm2 as a endpoint to this particular traffic manager so to do that uh, you can see there is an option called endpoint click on it and then you click on add so i have selected azure endpoint here because my virtual machines are in uh, azure itself okay so if you see there is a lot of options here if you have something on on premises or you are creating a nested endpoint so based on that you can select it but right now my virtual machine are in azure infrastructure so i have selected azure endpoint now it is asking me to provide the name for my endpoint i have given vm1 it is up to you what name you want to give it is not mandatory that same name you supposed to give now when i select the target resource type so here you can see lot of options has been given cloud service app service the public ip address so right now we are looking for our endpoint inside the azure endpoint and all these are your azure services correct so uh, what i will do i want to attach my virtual machine as of now so i am going to select a public ip address you do not have knowledge of app service and app service slot as of now because this portion we haven't covered yet okay so it's a very big module so once we will have a knowledge of it you will understand uh, means what is the meaning of app service and here you are just creating a attachment so it's not a big deal here. like you have created your virtual machine similarly you are just trying to attach your virtual machine so i will select public ip address now click on it you can see vm1 and vm2 both are listed here suppose i am adding vm1 now you can see there is a error message here it says the no dns name is configured because this whole traffic manager is work on the concept of the dns initially i told it's a dns based load balancer basically so on my vm1 and vm2 also i should have a dns name even on this traffic manager also if you go to the overview azure has not given me any ip address it has given me a dns name in case of application gateway load balancer you might have observed that there was a ip address here public ip address but in this case i have the dns even it is asking me the dns name of my endpoint also it means on my vm1 and the vm2 i should configure the dns name as well so how to configure dns name here on vm1 so for that you go to virtual machine go to vm1 go to networking then you go to your interface or you go to your public ip address directly inside public ip address go to configuration then you have this dns name label so one thing you have to <clears throat> make sure that this dns name should be unique otherwise it will not accept this one so i have second vm1 ls24 so this name i have specified you can see it has been accepted so go ahead and click on save okay so go to second virtual machine vm2 go to networking and select your public ip address basically on public ip address you are setting up your dns then go to configure here you have dns name label and in this case i am going to set up vm2 lh24 so this is also accepted go ahead and click on save now if you come back both of the settings has been added now 
and uh, now you come back to your traffic manager once again open this traffic manager go to endpoint click on add name is vm1 target public ip address and then you add vm1 hyphen ip now it is not prompting any error message here now it is asking me what is your priority because when i created my traffic manager profile i had selected my routing method as a priority routing method if you remember so that is the reason it is asking me for the priority i'm saying set priority one on vm1 click on add okay add your second endpoint name suppose is vm2 and uh, public ip address vm2 i am going to select it is not throwing any error message priority i have set to 2 here click on add okay so now this is your endpoint there are two endpoint has been added how we have added our virtual machine in the same way you are going to add your application gateway and load balancer and other things so there is no difference at all fine so come back to my diagram and if you see that this vm1 has been attached here and vm2 also has been attached as a endpoint traffic manager now what i will do because i have created my dns zone also so inside that dns zone i have to create a record then only this dns is going to identify my traffic manager so to create this record what i have to do first go to the traffic manager profile go to overview and copy this dns name and duplicate this one and search for the dns here dns zone so dns is already ready we have done all the required setup for this zone only thing is that i should go and create a record so click on record set and uh, mention www this is www.learninghubtech.com record type i will select a c name because i am going to put a url here so paste the dns name what you had copied of traffic manager same thing you come and copy here so it is throwing the message error message so remove this one and this has been accepted now correct so go ahead and click on basically this is what we have click on ok so if you come on this diagram so instead of dns name of traffic manager what you can do you can just paste it here clear this is a cname record and mapped against this one learninghubtech.com and this is my traffic manager and this is the dns name of your traffic manager so remove this also okay fine so i have done my setting so this setup is has been done completely and let's understand once again how it is going to work on my laptop i will type learninghubtech.com so it will reach out to the dns in dns we have created a record against learninghubtech.com this uh, dns name of traffic manager has been mentioned so i will get the reference of my traffic manager like this so now it will reach out to the traffic manager inside traffic manager the routing method has been selected as priority correct so so if the routing method is priority so there will be a priority table in that in which it will be written as vm1 the priority is one here in vm2 the priority is two here so which one is going to be selected the endpoint which has the lesser priority is going to be selected here so in this case vm1 has the priority one if you remember while setting up this i had set priority one on vm1 and priority two on vm2 here clear so based on that it will select a vm1 ip address and it is going to return back to dns dns will return it to my client 
and then finally my client will make a direct connection to my vm1 so in this scenario my website should open from my vm1 here okay let's see that whether it works as per the logic or not so go ahead open a new tab and type http colon double slash www dot learning hub tech dot com so you can see it is opening from vm1 if you hit it multiple times also every time it will go and open from vm1 so suppose what i want to do now uh, i want to check out the failover so in that failover come to your learning hub traffic manager what you can do you can switch off your virtual machine then you can verify that all of your traffic is going to virtual machine in this case because the priority one is down so it will go and connect to the priority two in this case but instead of <coughs> shutting it down what we can do we can change the priority of vm1 from one two three and click on save here close this okay refresh it once again so now vm1 has priority 3 vm2 has the priority 2 correct so what will happen in this case which uh, endpoint is going to be selected vm2 because vm2 has the less priority so let's go ahead and verify if it works as, as per the logic or not so it may take some time to reflect also let me try http colon double slash www okay now you can see that your website is opening from vm2 because vm2 has the lesser priority clear so this is how this traffic manager work now can i change this routing method after doing the configuration yes you can do that so come to here on configuration and the routing method is set to priority here right instead of priority suppose you select the weighted and click on save so what will happen in this case come to your endpoint now you will see that earlier it was priority now it has been changed as weight here so you can modify the weightage instead of one let's say you are mentioning it as 75 and this you can modify as 25 so if you see this configuration part is very simple nothing is there so when i moved from priority to weightage very simple to understand but the most important thing is the logic logic should be clear that is the reason i spent almost 40 minutes to explain you what is the meaning of different different routing methods okay now what you supposed to do try one by one all the routing method and test it by your own okay so that's all for today's session so we have seen that how exactly this traffic manager work what is the meaning of the traffic manager what are the different routing methods are available what kind of case scenarios can be there in the industry where we use these routing uh, methods so overall traffic manager is acting as a uh, load balancer here and through the traffic manager you can integrate all of your component and define the direction of overall traffic which is hitting on your application here.